Hey, uh, Disney, maybe for uh, future reference, maybe you open with this trailer instead of the uh, other one you did. Just a thought. <laughs> so, Universe, I am here to talk about the official full trailer for the live-action Aladdin. Now, this trailer, this movie has been kind of met with a lot of opposition, and some of it I can understand why, because of how the genie looked, and obviously, you know, it's a character that we most recognize with Robin Williams and most affiliate with, so a lot of pressure was put on that, and uh, this movie, which the trailer, even without genie, the first little, like, sneak peek didn't really, you know, thrill anyone, especially how the genie looked himself, but... This trailer, I watched it and I was like, you know what, I'll give, it'll, it'll be fun for a lark. I'll, I'll give it a look. I will give it a look, see, see what I think. And lo and behold, it's actually not bad. Like, this act, this should have been what the trailer, what they should have released from the get-go. Maybe Disney, someone needs to get fired over at the marketing, because you really dropped the ball on how to handle the fans like this. Because I was looking at the comments... For the, fir for the first trailer, and a lot of people are like, yeah, th this was what they should have opened with. This made me feel a lot better about the movie. This made me feel a lot better about how the movie uh, went. So, I don't need to explain the trailer, you know, explain Aladdin for you, because if, if you don't know what Aladdin is, then, you know, what kind of childhood did you have? Anyway, so let's talk about some of the obvious, uh, you know, the, uh, the genie in the room. Obviously, Genie himself. Now, the big thing is that I like Will Smith, um, but the problem is, is that you've got some big, you've got a big lamp to fill um, after Robin Williams. And my big thing was, don't try to be Robin Williams, be your own Genie. And thank God, because I feel like Will Smith and Guy Ritchie understood that, because we get a little bit of friend like me, and it's a little more poppy and a little more jazzy. And I was like, oh. Okay, you're not trying to do you're not trying to do a remake. Uh, I mean, you're not trying to do the exact beat for beat of uh, that song. Yeah, you're doing your own, you're doing how Will Smith would do that song. Okay, the best way to do this is to differentiate from Robin Williams, not you know from Robin Williams and his genie. Um, and yeah, there's actually some fun moments in here. Like um, there's a fu like I laughed at the prince joke. Is like <laughs> I was like, oh, that's funny. Um, and I think it works better here, and I know what you're thinking. Well, DPZ, you didn't really like, you know, Will Smith as Deadshot, because Deadshot's a really complex character, and I feel like Will Smith was just playing Will Smith. Here, I feel like Will Smith being Will Smith works in his advantage, because like I said, you ain't gonna be able to talk, don't even try to copy Robin Williams. Do not even try to copy Robin Williams, because you will fail, and you will fail hard. You will freaking fail hard. So, best you don't do that. You know, best you don't do that. Um, so that's the, you know, that's the main thing. Um, that is the, uh, the main... That's the whole trick of this. Also, I like the actor playing Aladdin. We get more of him. I like the actress playing Jasmine. Um, really, really good on you, Disney, for actually not trying to whitewash the cast. Thank God for that. Not trying to do that. And having... Actual Arabic actors, which I looked a little online and saw some of their credits, and I was like, "Oh, these guys are um, these guys are relatively new in American cinema." So thank God for that. Um, I will say that the CGI on Raja does look a little bit too much like Shere Khan from the live-action Jungle Book. I guess they just had some leftover CGI, and it was like, "Fuck it, we'll put it in in Aladdin." They've got a tiger in there, right? Also, like the Boo. Another thing I will say for Genie, I forgot to mention, speaking of the CGI, I will say for Genie is that the CGI for the blue Genie looks so much better in, um, the CGI for the, for Genie in this trailer looks so much better than that first one. Like, they obviously heard the fan, you know, they obviously heard the internet and went, nah, let's, let's clean that up, let's, let's, let's clean that up. The one thing I will say about this trailer that it, I'm still kind of leery on is Jafar. Um, now, keep in mind, trailers don't, you know, this trailer, while it does give away the ending, come on, guys, you know the ending. You already know the ending. Don't even, don't even bother trying to say, oh, they spoiled it. Well, the, the newsflash, the movie in the 90s spoiled the ending for you. Hate to break it to you. So, yeah. Um, anyway, 
Uh, going back to Jafar, uh, Jafar just kind of seems like he's a little too, like, uh, soft and a little too, like, I don't know, the trailer just isn't hitting it with Jafar for me. And maybe in the, in the movie, it'll be, like, one of the coolest things ever, because, uh, maybe they'll, you know, do something cool with him. You know, maybe they'll do something really cool with him, but right now the trailers are just kind of like, ah, I just feel like his performance is really weak. I don't know, and Jafar is a really major Disney villain. You cannot drop the ball on, uh, on, on a classic Disney villain, like you did with Maleficent. I don't care what anyone says, that movie is fucking garbage, and it blows my mind that we're getting a sequel to that this year. Yeah, there's a sequel to Maleficent coming out this year. Oh boy, said, you know, said everyone who liked the original film. Uh said everyone, well, everyone, well, no one, said no one from the, I ruined the joke, never mind, let's, let's keep going. Uh, but yeah, so Jafar, maybe, uh, again, maybe they're just saving all the better parts with Jafar. Um, they did say that they, I heard somewhere that they want to go with a more Game of Thrones kind of vibe with him. I'm like, okay, just don't make him Littlefinger, you know, just don't make him Littlefinger. Um, the actor seemed like the costume looks cool, and they, and we do get a quick glimpse of his, uh, red costume. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, where else was I going with this? Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. Uh, trailer looks just nice. It looks better. Like, Disney should have just opened with this. Maybe it would have been for the better if you just opened with this trailer and not try to, you know, do anything, you know, you know, do those little sneak peeks here and there. Just open with this. Um, I guess, like, the other thing is that we just see a giant Iago for some reason, which I don't know, is Iago being, vo have a voice in this trip? Like, does anyone know if he's getting voiced by Gilbert Godfrey or somebody else? Or if he actually talks? I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, it's the same thing of, like, with, um, uh, there's a lot we still don't know about the Lion King trailer, which I'm still, like, I'm surprised you haven't shown a Scar or the Hyenas yet. I'm wondering what that's all about. Anyway, so you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of the Aladdin trailer? Uh, the first official Aladdin trailer, I guess you could call it. Uh, did you guys like it, hate it? What did you guys think uh, of uh, Will Smith's genie? Are you on the fence or are you, or you feel a little bit better about it? Just uh, comment below, let us know here at, at uh, Comic Universe. We're always interested in your input. Uh, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.